you will be ambassadors of Mary University to the various spheres that you are engaged in. We also wish you well in your endeavors, in your careers, in all that you are going to do after this. We pray that God may open doors for you, for those who are intending to get into employment. May God open doors for those who are getting into business. May God open doors for you to get financing and also to get clients for your businesses. Meru University of Science and Technology consists of various disciplines and various schools. Meru University has eight schools, School of Agriculture and Food Science, School of Business and Economics, School of Computing and Informatics, School of Education, School of Engineering and Architecture, School of Health Sciences, School of Nursing and School of Pure and Applied Sciences. And today we are graduating from all the eight schools and all the eight disciplines. So we are glad that we are able to impart knowledge in various disciplines that uh, are uh, needed in the development of this country. Mary University is well known for the various innovations that have taken place. We have disciplines of uh, various innovations that are conducted by both staff and students. And we are glad that it has made an impact in the development of this country. And we are hoping that the knowledge that has been impacted in you will enable you to be more innovative in your various fields. Would like to specially thank our parents and guardians for the support that they have given to our students to enable them to get to the level that they have gotten. We don't take it for granted. And graduates, you also don't take it for granted that your parents have committed to support you in various ways for you to be able to achieve your dream. So we wish you well in wherever, in whatever endeavors that you wish to take. Thank you. I would also like to thank all those who contributed to the planning of this day. First of all, I would like to thank the academic staff who supported the students to be able to achieve their various degrees. I would also like to thank the University Council for the support, the University Management, academic and all administrative staff would also like to thank all those who supported in various ways our stakeholders our collaborators we thank you for the sponsorships that you have given to be able to make this day a success we thank all the pa the ones providing the pa system the ones providing the dome would like to thank the housekeeping department for beautifying the university. Would also like to thank the security department for ensuring that we are safe. Would also like to thank all those who played a part in preparing even our choir and the choral verse. Thank you, Ashans, for the work that you're doing. We appreciate all of you 
and we thank you for the commitment that you have given. Thank you.
School of Agriculture and Food Science, you are required at the procession. The best student school of engineering and architecture, you are required to join the procession urgently. Thank you.
students, graduates, please settle down. Graduates, please settle down. We are about to start. We are about to start. So graduates, please take your seats and settle. And then remember we will ask you we will ask you all to stand up as the procession marches in. We will ask you to stand up. You will remain standing until after the prayers. We will give you instructions. Thank you. Gentlemen, this is the 11th graduation ceremony at Meru University of Science and Technology, whose theme is Beyond the Horizon, Harnessing Technology and Innovations for Infinite Possibilities. Welcome all to our 11th graduation. all of us.
Thank you. While still standing, we call upon Father Dr. Kinoti Kiduri of the Catholic Diocese of Meru to offer our first prayers. Father. We begin with a, a reading from the Gospel of Matthew 5, 13 and 16. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its saltness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything, except to be except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God Almighty and loving, we thank you for the completion of academic journey in our education, in our institution and university, for our kings, their parents and guardians, for the staff, administrative and academic and support, for the community. We thank you for this great a success, great a resource and blessing. We are grateful for your guidance, protection, continuing healing through knowledge, science and wisdom, and love as we have shared in the important work and the sacred duty sharing the office of your son, our Lord, the office of teaching, training, and consecrating young generation in truth. Lord of heaven and earth, guide and protect, give wisdom and knowledge and joy, happiness and courage, and patience to our graduates as they reach this end and as they start and chart new beginnings. Thank you for this diverse population, animated by a multilateral learning environment, the Mary University family. In a special way, we pray for the young people. Lord, we bring a major concern of our nation and its youth. The desperation and discouragement expressed by many graduating at various levels and those even not able to assess a place to accomplish their great potential. At times, this great effort does not translate to a good job opportunity. Lord, we pray through active in intervention for all of us as leaders, we may have a well-planned action as leaders of the society. Be and make all of us aware and conscious of the core need to leadership that we are morally obliged to provide hope to the young and the old. Lord, we also pray for integrity in our lives. O God of all creation, bless this our land and nation. Justice be our shield and defender. May we dwell in unity, peace, and liberty, plenty be found within our borders. Loving Father, bless this young generation our graduates and their colleagues, age mates and the younger, as they go through school, 
come to graduation such as this, that the world and our country is made better, free of corruption, free of discrimination, free of tribalism, and an end to sufferings that come with the disparity. Heavenly Father, we come before you today to ask you for your strength and love to maintain our integrity. Help us always to walk in honesty and truth, even when it may be challenging to do so. Give each one of us courage to stand up for what is right, even in the face of opposition or criticism. Remind us that our integrity is not only important for our own personal growth and development, but also for the impact it gives to those around us, our communities, nation, and the globe. Please, Lord, fill us all and our graduates with the Holy Spirit and help us renewed in mind and heart so that always we may reflect your love and your truth. Lord God, be with us as we start this graduation through it to the end. Let us give up worry into trust in the Lord, trust in the self, family, and country. Let us give up complaining and focus on gratitude. Give up pessimism and become optimists. Give up harsh judgment and be people who think kind thoughts. Give up discouragement and be men and women full of hope. Give up bitterness and turn humbly to forgiveness and open to being forgiven. Give up pettiness and become mature women and men. Give up hatred and return good for evil. Give up gloom, be people who seek beauty around us. And give up anger and be people who are more patient with one another. Give up negativism and be people full of positive, positive thoughts and the ones that give purpose. Give up jealousy and be men and women who pray trustingly. Be with us now and forever. And we pray this, believing in Jesus Christ, who is our Lord and High Priest forever and ever. Thank you very much, Father. You may now resume your seats as we call upon our Vice Chancellor, Professor Romano Soviembo, to constitute the assembly of the 11th Congregation of Mary University of Science and Technology. Vice Chancellor, sir. Madam Chancellor, in accordance with the University Act number 42 of 2012, section 39, part 2, and the Mary University of Science and Technology Statute 41, section 6, and the TVET Act 29 of 2013, I declare this assembly the 11th congregation of the Mary University of Science and Technology. Citation for the chairperson of council to act in the absence of the chancellor. By virtue of the University Act number 42 of 2012, part 5, section 38, subsection 3 and 5, that states that in the absence of the chancellor, the chair of council is mandated to perform the functions of the chancellor. The chairperson of Mary University of Science and Technology will therefore be presiding over the 11th congregation for the confirmation of the degrees and other words of Mary University of Science and Technology. And with that, I now invite the chairperson of council to accept the functions of the chancellor during this 11th congregation for the confirmation of degrees and other words of Mary University of Science and Technology. Madam Chancellor. I, Chair of Council, accept 
to perform the functions of the Chancellor during the 11th congregation for the conferment of degrees and other awards of Mary University of Science and Technology. Thank you. Madam Chancellor, we have come to the time of entertainment and at Mary University, we nurture student talent. And today we have three presentations and I would ask the, those presenting the university anthem to please stand up and go to the dais. We are delighted that this graduation we are presenting the first university anthem and we are glad and would like to commend all those who contributed to the composition of this anthem. Please move towards the dais. The next presentation is going to be a song and the title is Sherehe Ya Mahafala. This, uh, that is another group of students who also constitute part of the ones that are moving to the dais. And the next presentation is the choral that uh, is entitled Infinite Possibility. This choral is in line with our graduation theme. So we are hoping that you will enjoy the presentation. This group has been led by our students. We have our students who are the core in, in terms of composition and in terms of nurturing their colleagues and we hope that you'll enjoy the presentation. Thank you.
Thank you very much. If that is not talent, I don't know what it is. Thank you very much. Would now like to hand over to the Deputy Vice Chancellor, Academic and Student Affairs. Thank you. Madam Chancellor, allow me to invite the best performing student in every school during the 2022-23 academic year to step forward and flank the best graduate in a hand race to the congregation. I will start with the School of Nursing. Brenda Chepkem. Newton Gechana Ochanda, School of Computing and Informatics. <laughs> Masi Chepko H. Tonui, School of Health Sciences. <laughs> Evelyn Dunge, Job, School of Business and Economics. <laughs> Kiremi Glory Candy. School of Education, Enoch Carrier, School of Engineering and Architecture, Mwanya Augustine Musau, School of Agriculture and Food Science, Victor Kiplimo, School of Pure and Applied Sciences. Let's all appreciate them, the best students for our school, the best first class in every eight, the eight of our schools. Brother? The Chancellor Meru University of Science and Technology Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Education, Honorable Ezekiel Mashogu, other Cabinet Secretaries present, the PS State Department of Higher Education and Research, Dr. Beatrice Muganda, other Principal Secretaries, Honorable Senators, Honorable Governors, Honorable Members of the National Assembly, Chancellor of other Universities, the Chair of Meru University Council, Dr. Jen Wangui, Chairpersons of other University Councils, Council members of Meru University of Science and Technology, Professor Romana Sodiambo, Vice Chancellor Meru University of Science, Vice Chancellor and Principals of other universities and university colleges, all invited guests, management, my fellow graduates, staff, and students of Meru University of Science and Technology. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. My happiness on this occasion of the 11th graduation is unparalleled. Standing here looking at my classmates in the splendid gowns that I would like to refer to as the gowns of honor is a dream come true. I feel really proud and greatly honored to be representing this particular congregation as the valedictorian. Hongera, my class, and thank you all the stakeholders of MAS who made this possible. Our parents and guardians, our lecturers, non-academic staff, and any other person who participated in our molding in one way or the other, please feel well appreciated. The graduates gathered here today met roughly four years ago, many as total strangers to each other. We bonded as mass society, loved and cried together. We went through our studies with what we considered various ups and downs, and though it seemed like it will never come, this day is here with us our special day when all the hard work is being recognized. This phase of our life is now over, and from today onwards, we move into the alumni phase at Mass, but we also move into the post-study stage where we put into practice the knowledge and skill that we have acquired here. My challenge to you is to go out there and sh shine on your, your own special way. We are keenly aware of the unemployment statistics of this country, and indeed in Africa at large. I eye this particular class of 2023 to think outside the box. Let us embrace the global village that the world is becoming by embracing the global citizenship. 
Let us look for opportunities worldwide as we also create opportunities for others. As comrades, let us be our brother's keepers and share opportunities that we may come across in other sectors. For it is famously said, do good to others and the good will come back to you. As I conclude, I want to congratulate you all for the job well done. Long live Mass, long live Kenya. Thank you. Well done. So, can people please remain standing for a photo with our Chancellor, the Vice Chancellor, the PS representatives. Please remain standing for that photo. We hand this over back to the Deputy Vice Chancellor, Academic and Student Affairs. Madam Chancellor, I take this opportunity to invite the representative, Mary University of Science and Technology alumni, to address the congregation. The Chancellor, Mayor University of Science and Technology, the Cabinet Secretary, Minister of Education, On Ezekai Machou, other Cabinet Secretaries present, the PS State Department of Higher Education and Research, Dr. Beatrice Muganda Inyagala, other principal secretaries, all senators, all governors, all members of National Assembly. Chancellors of other universities, the Chair of Mill University Council, Dr. Jane Wangui Kirigai, Chairpersons of the other university councils, council members of Mill University of Science and Technology, Professor Romanas Odiambo, Vice Chancellor, Mill University of Science and Technology, Vice Chancellors and Principals of other universities and the colleges. All invited guests, management, my fellow graduates, staff, students of Mayor University of Science and Technology, ladies and gentlemen. I salute you all today with love and joy as we celebrate our graduates for their great academic achievements. I understand your academic journey extended far beyond the boundaries of textbooks and the classrooms. You participated in community outreach services, field attachment, research work, and international conferences and disseminated the findings to the rest of the world to read and learn from your experiences. Your strength, strength is sprung from God Almighty, inspiration and member, uh, mentorship from your professors and lecturers working and living in unity as family and friends. For some, today marks your in, uh, initiation into the world outside the university classroom. 
Congratulations to the graduating class of 2019. I also take this opportunity to cordially welcome you to the alumni fraternity of this prestigious university. The lessons you have learned, the experiences you have gathered, and the moments you have cherished have all shaped you for a better version of yourself. You have been adequately nurtured to bring out the best in you. The university has done its best, and it is your turn to impact the world. You stand to build a better world for you and the generation to come. For example, the issues of climate change are affecting every one of us, and these issues will need to be urgently addressed. My message to you, therefore, is for you to go out there with the, within your community and the champion a positive aspect of mitigating the adverse effect of climate change by planting trees during the for the coming rainy seasons. Just like the hummingbird, do the much you can on your part, and together we shall eventually make a positive difference to impact on this world as we make it a better place to live for each one of us. May your life be an example to humanity. May your future be a right to those who come after you. I encourage you to form positive networks to positively and adequately touch the world around us. Networking is power, but only when harnessed. The alumni fraternity, for example, is a formidable network. Whatever your children, you, choo you have chosen your career, whether it is in entrepreneurship or innovation, I urge you to maintain your network even as you build new ones as necessary. This is one sure way of reaching out to the world and making it a better place than we found it. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to remind you that the, the American president, Theodore Roosevelt, said, believe you can and you are halfway there. Therefore, Learn from your past mistakes and avoid the mistakes of others, and this way avoid the same pitfalls of your predecessors. Develop good work ethics and resilience. Never give up, for God did not create junk in you. My dear graduates, as you face the challenges job market and artificial intelligence, among others, always believe in yourself and believe in God. Be innovative enough to face and conquer every challenge that is ahead of you. The former President of the United States of America, President Barack Obama, always reminded his audience to affirm, yes, we can. To you, graduates, I say a resounding, yes, you can. And to yourself, you say, Yes, we can. Please repeat after me. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. God bless Mary Universe of Science and Technology. God bless Kenya. God bless us all. Thank you. I will now call upon Dr. Charles Jati, one of the um, senior lecturers of this university to come forward and we present a donation for Mayor University of Science and Technology. I will also call the, the, uh, the Vice Chancellor, Professor Romanas of Yambo, to come forward also. Oh, the chair that, so yes. Yeah, is the one to present. <laughs> Dr. Romanos, can we present and, and you will, uh, I'm coming there, and we shall let you know how much we are presenting. <laughs> Dr. Odiambo, how my, uh, my Charles, Charles, Dr. Charles Inyate, how much are we presenting?
Madam Chancellor, the Vice Chancellor, we have the honor to present a donation from the alumni community of Kenya shillings, one million. Let us appreciate the alumni for that donation. Asante Nisana. Madam Chancellor, I now invite the Vice Chancellor to address the congregation. Madam Chancellor, before I read my speech, allow me to announce some of our guests that are with us here. The first one is Professor Mike Correa, who is the CEO of Commission for University Education. And love for Correa. <laughs> Madam Chancellor, when I came, we had very few courses that had been accredited by Commission. In the last five years, I think we have passed that nearly all our courses are now accredited and we are very grateful to the Commission for University Education through the leadership of my Korea. The second one is Dr. Eunice Marete, the Deputy Secretary again for Commission for University Education, our own. He was the former Director of Quality Assurance and Career Services here. We congratulate you Eunice. We also have Dr. Rosalind Owor, who is representing the, our minister and the PS, and she hinted to me that she loves Meru. Meru is a beautiful place. And Madam Kovic, thank you for coming. She'll, she'll be reading the speech of the PS later on. And um, we have a close friend of the university, Madam Kate Maure. Thank you for coming. And then uh, my friend, Professor Mutembe, um, who is the Vice Chancellor of Chuka, could not come because he has a council meeting and he has sent his deputy, Professor Gilbert Nduru. Thank you, Nduru, for coming. Because we have our very own architect, James Gimati, who is the chair of alumni. She just read a speech on behalf of the alumni here. Can clap for her. And we are grateful. It's a very young association, and I've seen them grow over the last five years. Today, they have just surprised the council by giving a donation of one million, I guess, to go and help our needy students. We celebrate you, our alumni. And then, surprising guests that we have looked for for a long time, Joseph Njau who is actually the CEO of Tibet. Jao, where are you? <laughs> and look at him. This, this guy is a close friend. To those of you who are coming here for the first time, he used to be a lecturer here back in 2008. And you never know, today is the CEO of Tibet. Thank you for coming, my brother. Then we have Dr. Joseph M. Keruga, who is representing again my very close friend, the Vice Chancellor of Taraka, Professor Murungi, who is also not able to come because of engagement somewhere else. And then Professor Mugambi, representing the VC of Kenya Methodists, our good friends and neighbors. And of course, this land, Madam Chancellor, was actually a donation to the Kenya government, but our real leaders in this country called the juries and they are here they are normally very humble horses and we really celebrate them you all remember they gave a donation of almost 600 acres and that's where we stand our elders we celebrate you thank you for always being there for us and then uh, we have dr mungania who is the cc health meru county thank you for coming 
and we have uh, this must be the principal of Meru National Polytechnic, Mr. Mutebe. Are you here? Uh, <laughs> that is chief principal, a close friend of Meru University of Science and Technology. Thank you, sir, for coming. And then uh, the lady who is always taking care of our banking interests, uh, Nancy Gitonga from Equity Bank, you are here. Thank you, Nancy, for being a friend of the university. And then um, Faith Murage, DCC Meru. Thank you, Madam Santi Sana. And with that, I can go to my speech. Madam Chancellor of Meru University of Science and Technology, the representative of our great ministry, Dr. Rosalida O'War, who's also the director of, state of, of research, State Department of University of Education and Research. All the guests, my employer, the council members, ladies and gentlemen, let me start by saying a very warm welcome to the 11th graduation ceremony of Mary University of Science and Technology. Today, we gather here to celebrate the remarkable achievements of our graduating class. I extend my heartfelt greetings to the graduates, their families, friends, and the distinguished guests who have joined us today. I would also like to acknowledge and express my gratitude to the dedicated faculty the ones we celebrate so much, because you are the ones who have produced these great graduates we are celebrating here. And my staff, the non-teaching staff, who, just like people in the kitchen, always do the real work, and then we celebrate it at the eating table. We are proud of you for shaping the success of the graduates that we are celebrating today. Let me begin by congratulating the graduating class of 2023. Your hard work, your perseverance, your resilience and dedication have brought you this momentous day. It is a testament to your commitment to excellence and the values that we, so, we hold so dear at Mary University of Science and Technology. The values of competitiveness that we have to compete we don't get things easily, we have to compete for them. The values of integrity, and I heard my friend, uh, Inoti, Father Inoti, talk about integrity, that we stand for what we believe in. The value of honesty, the value of being professional, that we don't cut corners, we always do the right professional thing, wherever we are in the part of the globe. The call for quality, and of course, when all things have failed, the core values of being innovative, how to survive in the, pre in the environment of difficulties. These are values that you've learned the last four years. And it's our prayer that when you are outside there, you'll recall them. And at any time where you are, they'll always cause you to do the right thing. As you stand on the precept, of a new chapter in your life, I encourage you to remember that education is indeed our passport to the future. The words of Malcolm reminds us that tomorrow belongs to those who prepare for it today. So you must prepare for it today. And remember tomorrow is always tomorrow. A human being is always in the process of becoming. There's no end. Even if you are in your sick bed, you remember there's a tomorrow. If the world here come to an end, you remember there is a tomorrow in heaven. So you always have to prepare for it. The knowledge and the skills you have acquired here will serve as your guiding light as you navigate the ever-changing landscape of the world. Reflecting on your journey, I'm aware that you have faced challenges and obstacles along the way. But it is in overcoming these challenges that you have grown and evolved. Each trial has molded you into a resilient individuals you are today. 
This journey has not only equipped you with the knowledge, but also tested your character. It has tested your fortitude and the resilience. It has also tested your ability to cope with the difficult times, all of which are essential attributes as you venture into the next phase of your lives. Now let me offer you some advice as you embark on your future endeavors. Number one, remember the beautiful thing about learning is that no one can take it away from you. As Mr. B.B. King once said, embrace lifelong learning and be open to new experiences and ideas. Kama kuna kasi, tafuta masomo. Volunteer to do something. Do something with the profession, with the, the knowledge that you have acquired here. So don't just sit down there. In case, stay true to the core values of this university. And I repeat them. Competitiveness, integrity, professionalism, quality, and innovations. For they will be your guiding principles in the years to come. In alignment with the national values and principles of governance, and as part of our commitment to the bottom-up economic agenda vision 2030, and the Sustainable Development Goals, I urge all of you to use your education to not only uplift yourselves, but also your communities and the nation at large. Be agents of positive change. Be people who embody their deals of service, their deals of social responsibility, their deals of sustainability. I also take this opportunity, ladies and gentlemen, now you qualify, I can call you ladies and gentlemen, to express our gratitude to the county government of Meru for their continued support in our pursuit of academic excellence. Their partnership has been invaluable in our mission to provide quality university education, training research in science, technology, and innovation. In closing, my dear graduates, as you step into the world, carry with you the vision of Mary University, the dream of being the best, a world-class institution of excellence in science and technology, the university you love so much. You are the torchbearers of this vision, and I have no doubt that you will make us proud wherever you are. Embrace the challenges that lie ahead with confidence and enthusiasm, for you are well prepared to shape a brighter future. Because I'm your academic father, and I know you are intelligent, you must have listened to the prayer of Father Kinoti this morning. Let them resonate with you all the time, and you'll just be a blessing wherever you are. God bless you all, once again, Congratulations to the class of 2023. We look forward to witnessing your continued success and the positive impact you will have on our world. Today, you have just seen your predecessors giving a donation of one million. Next year and years to come, Mary University of Science and Technology also look forward to receiving such gifts. The gift of a child coming to their parents is so blessed. And that's our prayer for you. Go out to the world. Go to positively transform the world. Go to positively impact the community. Go touch the hearts of the world. Thank you. And may your journey ahead be filled with success, fulfillment, and endless possibilities. Asante ni sana, God bless you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Madam Chancellor, 
allow me to invite the chairperson of council to introduce the Council of Mary University of Science and Technology and address the congregation in that order. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, Professor. Madam Chancellor, I have the pleasure to introduce the Council of Meru University of Science and Technology. I will start with yourself, Dr. Jane Kiringai, Ms. Lucy Rimanto Molonket, Mr. Sylvester Kibiwot Kinyor, Mr. Martin Kinoti, in absentia, Dr. Jacob Gekonge Kwaba, please come forward, Ms. Ross Kwena, Mr. Frederick Ndambuki, Professor Romanas Odiambo Otieno, and myself, Janet Ominde. Kindly step forward so that we can take a picture with the representative of the CSNPS, Dr. Rosalinda. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now is my turn to address the congregation. The Chancellor of Meru University of Science and Technology, Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Education, Honorable Ezekiel Machogu, other Cabinet Secretaries present, Principal Secretary, State Department for Higher Education and Research, Dr. Beatrice Muganda Inyangana, other principal secretaries present, honorable senators, honorable governors, honorable members of the National Assembly, chancellors of other universities present, chairpersons of other university councils present, council members of Meru University of Science and Technology, vice chancellor of Meru University of Science and Technology, Professor Romanas Odiambo, Vice Chancellors and Principals of other universities and university colleges present, the graduating class of 2023, students, university staff, parents, guardians, all invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm honored to welcome you all to the 11th graduation ceremony of Meru University of Science and Technology. The University Council applauds the class of 2023 for achieving excellence in academia. Congratulations to you all. I expected some. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to express my sincere gratitude to the Ministry of Education for continually providing the necessary guidance and support. The university management and staff for your dedication and hard work. Parents and guardians for believing in us and most of all for the graduates here today. You are the reason for this occasion. Congratulations. I also thank all our partners, regulatory and oversight bodies who have played a key role of ensuring that we produce quality graduates. Meru University of Science and Technology is established with expectations that as an institution of higher learning, it will greatly contribute to the development of our country through training, research, and innovations. As Council, we are cognizant of these expectations true to the theme of our graduation today, 
we are keenly focused on imparting practical and industry-driven competencies to our graduates. The University Council maintains its strong sense of purpose in steering this university to maintain a renowned status as the institution of choice for science and technology. I thank our Senate, management and staff for continued support in implementing our unified agenda to provide quality education. Ladies and gentlemen, research and community extension are our core mandates. We believe that these three pillars are not only essential for academic growth, but also crucial in shaping responsible and conscientious citizens who will contribute meaningfully to society. It is thus our duty as a university to ensure that we facilitate students to achieve their potential and make them the best they can be. This has been made possible by Meru University of Science and Technology working in collaboration with the industry which has facilitated an environment of quality and desirable education and training that is internationally competitive. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, through strategic partnerships with industry, Meru University of Science and Technology has engaged in higher caliber research endeavors. This research has emerged as a pivotal fountain for innovative concepts. Furthermore, the collaborative venture between the university and industry has catalyzed the establishment of programs and educational frameworks tailored to meet industry-specific needs. This includes the dissemination of mutually beneficial research undertakings as well as the recognition of industry professionals suitable for adjunct faculty roles. Additionally, it has paved the way for invaluable opportunities such as industrial attachments, internships and employment prospects within the industry sector among other notable achievements to the graduating class of 2023. It is in your role to serve our country, the great continent of Africa and the world. It is imperative for you to lead with grace, a mind open to learning, and the resolve to be the change required in our communities. We expect you to be great ambassadors of Meru University of Science and Technology. Congratulations to the class of 2023. Thank you and God bless you all. <clears throat> Madam Chancellor, I have the pleasure to invite the representative of the permanent secretary as well as the representative of the cabinet secretary to address the congregation. Welcome, Dr. Ross Linda. Thank you, Council Chair. I'm here to deliver the speech of my PS. Speech delivered by Dr. Beatrice Muganda Inyangala, Principal Secretary for higher education and research in the Ministry of Education during the 11th graduation ceremony of Meru University of Science and Technology held at the main campus on 27th October 2023. Chancellor of Meru University of Science and Technology, Principal Secretaries present, Honorable Senators, Honorable Governors, Honorable members of the National Assembly, chancellors of other universities present, chairpersons of other university councils present, council members of Meru University of Science and Technology, vice chancellor of Meru University of Science and Technology, vice chancellors and principals of other universities and university colleges present, faculty members, the graduating class of 2023, 
students, university staff, parents and guardians, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It gives me great pleasure today to preside over the 11th graduation ceremony of Mary University of Science and Technology. In terms of numbers, this is the largest group of graduates for this university. As the Principal Secretary for Higher Education and Research, I'm honored and privileged to address this incredible gathering of people of all walks of life. We celebrate each one of you for your hard work, devotion, and achievement. The world we live in today is continuously changing. Therefore, we need men and women who are prepared to utilize their skills and knowledge to make a positive contribution. Ladies and gentlemen, as graduates of Science and Technology University, I'm certain that the critical thinking abilities you have de developed will help you to solve our most urge development challenges, creativity, and communicate effectively. Kenya, and indeed the rest of the world, is in the dire need of leaders, thinkers, and change makers. Your academic achievement should demonstrate the power of education and unlimited potential it unlocks for humanity. This view of education is in line with your graduation theme, Beyond the Horizon, harnessing technology and innovation for infinite possibilities. Ladies and gentlemen, let us pause for a moment to consider how your graduation theme ought to influence your world view as you enter the world of employment. In my reading, I noticed two underlying principles in this theme, lifelong learning, and global citizenship. Your diploma at any level of education is a springboard for lifelong learning that will prepare you for the changing world as the new technologies are fundamentally altering our national and global economies. In this context, university education should prepare students for long life learning to acquire skills that support sustainable lives. The second and equally crucial point about this thing is global citizenship, which is linked to the call to harness technology and innovation for infinite opportunities. The current global problems such as pandemics and climate change, need governments to build systems for sustainable living as soon as possible. This call will not be answered until your education has prepared you to be a global citizen. Therefore, I encourage you to put your education to good use. Be leaders in your field and positive force in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to reaffirm the government's commitment to enhancing access to education for all Kenyans. To assure equity of access to higher education, the current university funding model was implemented. Unfortunately, there has been some misunderstanding regarding how this funding arrangement operates. This funding model does not increase fees, but instead provides university funding through government scholarships, student loans, 
and household contributions. I urge all first year students who have not yet reported to their respective universities to do so as soon as possible as the government is funding all students. Ladies and gentlemen, in conclusion, allow me to remind the 2023 class that education is for the common good. It is meant to prepare people for others. From today, you have a responsibility to be agents of positive change. Apply your knowledge and abilities to help those in need and to contribute to the advancement of humanities. Once again, congratulations on your graduation. As your Principal Secretary for State Department for University Education and Research, I have complete faith in what Mary University of Science and Technology has helped you achieve during your stay here and eagerly wait, await your outstanding services to our society. Thank you very much and God bless you all. Madam Chancellor, it is with great humility that I do invite you to address the congregation. Karibu. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Wolf, representing the PS, Beatrice Nyangara. Chair of Council, Mary University of Science and Technology, Chairpersons of other councils present, Council members of Mary University of Science and Technology, Vice Chancellor, Professor Odiambo, Mary University of Science and Technology, all Vice Chancellors of other and principals of other universities present today. The graduating class of 2023, students and the entire faculty, parents, guardians, all invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. How are you today? Indeed, it is a beautiful morning. Let me start by thanking you all for making time to come to the 11th graduation ceremony at Mary University of Science and Technology. This is a great occasion where we celebrate the achievements of the 11th graduating cohort. As the president, presiding chancellor today, I'm pleased to welcome you all to this assembly. Karibuni and congratulations to all the graduates. You have done us proud. Ladies and gentlemen, as one of a handful of higher education institutions of science and technology in this country, Mary University of Science and Technology has distinguished itself in teaching, research, and innovation. Students graduate from disciplines that give them a competitive edge in the world of work. Through the engagement with lecturers and colleagues, their minds are stretched to think beyond the immediate environment. As the world grapples with climate and environmental challenges, among many, the university has found ways of making use of waste to not only conserve the environment, but also to create jobs and generate income for many. The research work in the university is of profound impact to their surrounding community, 
and the nation. Among many endeavors, there is innovation in construction to ensure affordable housing, in agriculture to promote food security, and in computing and informatics to aid in learning of persons with disabilities. This is commendable work by the staff at the Hood City Legend, the graduates have been for the past four years. Congratulations, Mary University of Science and Technology staff. Keep it up. Let me now turn to the graduating class of 2023. And I want to congratulate you on your graduation. You have persevered, and today we celebrate your achievement. Many of the past graduates have found job placements in notable places in their areas of specialization in the country and globally. Thanks to a superior education, a number have started businesses that spur economy not only of their immediate communities, but the nation and the world over. As you go out of here today, you too are well equipped to face the world of work that awaits you. And you are well equipped to succeed in it. In the aftermath of COVID-19 pandemic, we know that COVID changed the way we live, work, and interact. And the world has changed dramatically. Technology is at the forefront of business, industry, and community life. We are now living in an age where medical diagnoses are done in real time from across continents. Machines are operated by robots, and families and friends connect digitally, even when geographically apart. This is in line with this year's graduation theme of Beyond the Horizon, harnessing technology and innovations for infinite possibilities. My dear graduating class, you have been empowered to not only take advantage of your education for career advancement, but also to embrace available opportunities for the good of society. And if the opportunities are not there, we are challenging you to create them. You're going into a world of uncertainty and more so economically. A few years ago, there were more job opportunities than there are today. Several of you know of unemployed graduates in your homes or in your villages and estates. Do not add to their number. This is our prayer to you. You are living at a time when creativity and innovation are rewarded. Just look at what is happening on YouTube, on TikTok, and other platforms. A decade ago, this would not have been envisioned. What can you do with these chances you have to create jobs and fulfill your dreams? Let that be your mission for today. Think of what you can do and do it well. Once again, let me take this opportunity to congratulate you. And as I conclude, I wish all of you the best in your future endeavors. May God bless you and be gracious to you. May God bless Mary University of Science and Technology, and may God bless Kenya. Asante Nisana. Madam Chancellor, I call upon the Dean School of Agriculture and Food Science to present the graduates for confirmation of respective doctorate degrees of the Meru University of Science and Technology. Hmm. Madam Chancellor, I have the honor to present the following two graduates who during the 2022-2023 academic year satisfied the school board of examiners and the Senate 
for the conferment of respective doctorate degrees in the School of Agriculture and Food Science. Doctor of Philosophy in Agricultural Science, Keridia Murethi Richard. <laughs> Title of thesis, Growth, Yield and Quality of Transplanted Baby Corn, Zimes L, under varying agronomic conditions in Meru County, Kenya. Supervisors, Dr. Eric Moria, Professor Peter Masinde. Philosophy degree of Mary University of Science and Technology, for which you have been educated, trained, examined, and qualified. And by my authority, that of the entire university, give you power to read and do all that appertains to this degree. take a photo with the Chancellor, the Vice-Chancellor, and the Supervisors. and the various Abyssinica fruits. Supervisors, Professor Joshua Aremi, Dr. Eunice Marete, Dr. Jean Christophe Jacque, and Dr. Niam Habon. of philosophy degree of Mary University of Science and Technology, for which you have been educated, trained, examined, and qualified. And by my authority, and that of the entire university, give you power to read and do all that appertains to this degree.
management selection de Taverno. We now have a photo session. The supervisors, vice chancellor, chancellor, PS representative, kindly, Jack, and the chancellor, and the council chair as well, yes. Just a second for Richard Kirigia. Madam Chancellor, I call upon the Dean School of Agriculture and Food Science, the Dean School of Business and Economics, the Dean School of Computing and Informatics, the Dean School of Education, the Dean School of Engineering and Architecture, the Dean School of Health Sciences, and the Dean School of Pure and Applied Sciences to present the graduates for the confirmation of respective master's degrees of the Mayor University of Science and Technology. Madam Chancellor, I have the honor to present the following two graduates who during the 2022-2023 academic year satisfied the school board of examiners and the Senate for the confirmation of respective master's degrees in the School of Agriculture and Food Science. Master of Science in Food Science and Technology, Moindi Amoma Lorraine, Nyakangi Oirere Clinton. Graduates, please remain standing until the confirmation of the degrees. Madam Chancellor, I have honor to present the following one graduate for during 2022-23 academic year, satisfied school board of examiners and the Senate for the confirmation of respective master's degree in the School of Business and Economics, Master of Business Administration, Finance, Gitari M. Wendel. Madam Chancellor, I have the honor to present the following two graduates during the 2022-2023 academic year, satisfied the School Board of Examiners and the Senate for the confirmation of respective master degree in the School of Computing and Informatics. Master of Science, Computer Science, Mothe Mutwiri George, Mutwiri Liz Park and Lee, Graduates, please remain standing until the confirmation of degrees. Madam Chancellor, I have the honor to present the following one graduate who during the 2022-2023 academic year satisfied the School Board of Examiners and the Senate for the confirmation of master's degree in the School of Education. Master of Education in Management and Leadership, Kubai Jacinta Mukili. Graduate, please remain standing until the confirmation of degree. Madam Chanchala, I have the honor to present the following six graduates 
for during the 2022-2023 academic year, satisfied the school board of examiners and the senate for the confirmation of respective master's degrees in the School of Engineering and Architecture. Master of Science in Sanitation, Batula Jalo Budi, Kagendo Meljoy, Kendi Kadrin, Moteria Mudoni Susan, Tabadia Festus Mwenda, Ombuya Jared Nyangau. Graduates, please remain standing until the confirmation of the degrees. Madam Chancellor, I have the honor to present the following Greek graduates who during the 2022-23 academic year satisfy in the school board of examiners and senate for the confirmation of respective master's degrees in the school of health sciences. Master of Science in Public Health, Makena Manene Muirigi. Graduates, please remain standing until the confirmation of degrees. Madam Chancellor, I have the honor to present the following eight graduates who during the 2022-2023 academic here satisfying the school board of examiners and the senate for the confirmation of respective master's degrees in the school of pure and applied sciences master of science in applied mathematics kimadi ezra akwalo master of science in applied statistics wanjohi nyawera kalvi master of science in pure mathematics sankei joroge Dana. Master of Science in Molecular Biology, Tombiko Colin Kagali. Master of Science in Chemistry, Kinoti Kivint Ismail, Mugambi Mochoi Loifont, Mutai Kepto Vita Dickens. Master of Science in Environmental Science and Resource Management, Mwebia Lawrence Kinoti. Grandrants, Please remain standing until the confirmation of degrees. I admit the persons named to the respective master's degrees for which they have been educated, trained, examined, and qualified. And by my authority and that of the entire university, give power to read and do all that appertains to these degrees. Madam Chancellor, I call upon the Dean School of Education to present the graduates for the award of the respective postgraduate diplomas of Mary University of Science and Technology. Madam Chancellor, I have the honor to present the following four graduates who during the 2022-2023 academic year satisfied the School Board of Examiners and the Senate for the award of postgraduate diploma in the School of Education. 
postgraduate diploma in education, distinction. Wongera Linet Kajuju, credit. Aseo Mukiri Nyangena. Graduates, please remain standing until the award of postgraduate diploma. Acting on the powers conferred by the Universities Act number 42 of 2012, section 38, subsection 30, subsection 3A, and the Mary University of Science and Technology, Statute 5. Having satisfied the school, board of examiners, and seat in all subjects for which you are enrolled, trained and examined, it gives me great pleasure to award you the respective postgraduate diplomas, and by my authority, and that of the university, give power to read and do all that appertains to these postgraduate diplomas. Madam Chancellor, I now call upon the Dean School of Agriculture and Food Science, the Dean School of Business and Economics, the Dean School of Computing and Informatics, the Dean School of Education, the, school, the Dean School of Engineering and Architecture, the Dean School of Health Sciences, the Dean School of Nursing, and the Dean School of Pure and Applied Sciences in that order to present the graduates for the confirmation of the respective bachelor's degrees of the Mary University of Science and Technology. Madam Chancellor, I have the honor to present the following 14 graduates who during the 2022-2023 academic year satisfied the school board of examiners and the senate for the confirmation of respective bachelor's degrees in the school of agriculture and food science science in agriculture second class honors upper division to hill bachelor of science in horticulture second class honors upper division kit kemoi como bachelor of science in agricultural education and extension first class honors Nyambura Paul Kabioki, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Kanondu, Bachelor of Science in Food Science and Technology, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Bora Chelangat, Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Nyangoya, Bachelor of Science in Food Science and Management, First Class Honors, Mwanya Agustin Musau, Second class honors, lower division, Gitari, Kibet, Vati. Bachelor of Science in Animal Health and Production, Mbare, Motweri. I now invite the graduates present in this discipline to take the veterinary paraprofessionals oath as a commitment to their profession. Please repeat after me. But first of all, raise your right hand and then repeat after me. I, being admitted as a veterinary paraprofessional, solemnly swear that I shall dedicate myself to aiding society by providing excellent care and services for animals to alleviate animal suffering and to promoting public health. I accept my obligation to practice my profession conscientiously and with sensitivity, adhering to the profession's code of ethics, and furthering my knowledge and competence through a commitment to lifelong learning. So help me God. Graduates, please remain standing until the confirmation of degrees. Madam Chancellor, 
have the honor to present the following 310 graduates who during 2022-2023 academic year satisfied the School Board of Examiners and the Senate to confirm the prospective bachelor's degrees in the School of Business and Economics. Bachelor of Commerce Accounting, Second Class Honors Upper Division, Abel, Bati, Chiratich, Ikandi, Kimadi, Kimutai, Brenda, Kimutai, Vincent, Kimoy, Kikori, Kiprop, Kiprotich, Korma, Machanja, Masinde, Mchoki, Gambi, Mhoro, Mnyiri, Msanga, Msimi, Mudeu, Mdiani, Mtonga, Mwangi, Maura, Mwende, Emaya, Jiraini, Nyagaka, Nyawira, Odago, Oginga, Otieno, Shabola, Washi. Second class honors, lower division. Achola, Bet, Chilkon, Chilungu, Iva, Ndidi, Gaki, Kaara, Kamunge, Kibet, Kilau, Kilonzo, Kimutai, Laura, Malavu, Mugo Francis, Mugo Njeri, Mulinge, Mroki, Mtua, Mwende, Ndichu, Nagaya, Yamara, Zomo, Obeli, Okumu, Omondi, Osomu, Orina, Ouma, Chonta, Sikuku. Finance. First class honors. Kinyuru Samuel Ichunge. Second class honors upper division. Atieno Bat, Chipjadir, Chipkemoi, Chitumba, Kalunge, Karanja, Kemboi, Korme, Majau, Marenye, Mburu, Mramba, Munene, Msioki, Ndiani, Domi, Mutia, Mwangi, Mwanzia, Mwebia, Dabi, Ndeti, Nturibi, Nyongesa, Odiambo, Oyagi. Second class honors, Law Division. Ayoti, Bonaya, Buire, Egosangwa, Phoebe, Frederick, Jebleting, Jebgetich, Kabanga, Kangede, Kenyoru, Kimurgor, Kipsan, Kibiegon, Kirianki, Kialo, Macharia, Bogo, Miano, Mushira, Munene, Mudumbi, Mutie, Mwambaku, Mwaniki, Mwebia, Nabea, Nanzi, Yetich, Nginyo, Gome, Joroge, Juguna, Zaku, Zuma, Obaga, Odiambo, Saleh, Sera, Talu, Wawira, Pas, Bowen, Kiyo, Wanyonyi. Human Resource. Second class on Azapa Division. Kawiria, Kyogora, Mwirigi, Wambua. Bachelor of Purchasing and Supplies Management, Second Class on Azapa Division. Adano, Barnabas, Dotokori, Kagundi, Ikua, Wumbo, Irungu, Kaburu, Kame, Kanana, Karuri, Kadurima, Kiai, Kilembi, Kimadi, Kiseki, Kitamoni, Levu, Makau, Mbua, Muli, Mudamia, Muduri, Mutungi, Mwangi, Jacqueline, Mwangi, Lena, Mwenyi, Namiti, Ngaide, Ngare, Jeri, Ntari, Osudi, Oyera, Saekwo, Wafula, Wanjiru, Wekesa. Second class on our law division. Adam, Gatobu, Gitari, Halake, Jilo, Kabuki, Kagereki, Kaharu, Kaluku, Kamba, Kariuki, Kipkemoi, Kiprop, Kirugi, Lotepes, 
Maina, Maundi, Muchina, Mkua, Mwangi, Mwiti, Deritu, Nyaga, Oluochi, Mukaga, Onyango, Ouma, Riguini, Wanjiru. Bachelor of Business Administration, Finance and Accounting, Second Class Honors, Upper Division. Achoka, Kamade, Kamau, Kinyuru, Mbula, Murugi, Mwendwa, Odiambo, Onyango, Otiato, Protich, Dira, Waidaka, Wambua, Wekesa, Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Kariuki, Kimeu, Macharia, Muchiri, Mutava, Ngei, Joroge, Wambua, Wanjoy. Human Resource, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Ademba, Musioka, Mutua, Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Mutinda. Project Management, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Mutuku. Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Mudiora. Bachelor of Science in Economics, First Class Honors, Ndungi Evelyn Job. Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Abura, Bet, Chesach, Gitao, Gitucha, Irungu, Jepto, Karuga, Kebaso, Kemboi, Kimani, Kimadi, Kinywa, Kipiegon, Kirui, Kundu, Maina, Mati, Masese, Moseti, Muchunu, Mumu, Musioka, Mutisia, Dini, Nditu, Dungu, Ngosi, Ngugi, Jeri, Zilani, Obara, Ogutu, Oguya, of Congo, Omondi, Rono, Wamatu, Wabulwa. Second class on our small division, Asava, Biwot, Gachu, Gachanja, Gichira, Hassan, Itumo, Jepkwech, Kimondo, Kingori, Kiyoko, Martin, Morara, Muhoro, Muridi, Bredel, Muridi, Karani, Musioka, Muteti, Mudoni, Mutua, Mwangi, Ngemu, Gugi, Nyambura, Oliva, Dairu, Wamui, Wanjoy James, Wanjoy Joy, Pass, Gachara. Graduates, please remain standing until the confirmation of degrees. Madam Chancellor, I have the honor to present the following 198 graduates who during the 2022-2023 academic year satisfied the School Board of Examiners and the Senate for the confirmation of respective bachelor's degrees in the School of Computing and Informatics. Bachelor of Science, Computer Science, First Class Honors, Chaum Evans Loktar, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Anyango, Apondi, Barasa, Gatwiri, Kamogo, Kuria, Morwabe, Oduor, Ouma, Duo, Waiguru, Wambua. Second class owners, Law Division, Chepchirchi, Cherono, Cheruyot, Fondo, Gavua, Gitonga, Gumbo, Kamwenji, Kangara, Kapsoyo, Kimani, Kimenju, Kimunya, Kinyanjui, Kipkoril, Kiprono, Lagat, Masharia, Maina, Mori, Mungai, Munyao, Muridi, Murimi, Muridi, Muroki, Musao, Mudoni, Mutura, Mwangi Joffrey, Mwangi Tabida, Mwetu, Ndeti, Ngare, Ngei, Ngigi, Njuki, Nzambi, Nzuki, Otieno, Wainaina, Wairimo, Wambua, Wamboi, Pass, Maina, Mwangi, Ndomu. Bachelor of Science, Computer Technology, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Gakure, Muthoni, Wamboi, Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Emoru, Kamande, Kamore, Maina, Masinde, Mwangi Kennedy, Mwangi Pelex, Njoroge, 
Omoni, Osage, Otieno, Saitoti, Wamboi Yean, Wamboi Kahara, Pass, Biwot, Kamau, Musumbi, Mwenda, Ndaru. Bachelor of Science, Computer Security and Forensics. Second class honors upper division. Barno, Kasuku, Kigame, Kitkemboi, Mbogwa, Muga, Ogutu, Owiyo, Duo, Wanjira, Yegon. Second class honors lower division. Alibiza, Araka, Biuri, Karunjogu, Kasoa, Kibet, Kiondo, Kipchirichi, Kiplagat, Kiptum, Masharia, Madenge, Mbidi, Motuma, Maura, Mduku, Ousa, Pass, Cheruyot, Kurui. Bachelor of Business Information Technology. Second class honors, upper division. Chepunge Teach, Gadua, Gatwiri, Ikapel, Kame, Kipto, Mudev Bonfas, Mudev Philip, Mutiso, Mutunga, Mwangi, Nakeno, Ndungu, Njenga, Onchoke, Shikokoti, Wafula, Wairimu, Waweru. Second class honors, lower division. Gitau, Hassan, Kariuki, Kilonzo, Kiplangat, Tipto, Munene, Murebu, Muse, Mutia, Mutisia, Owili, Shambak, Sigei, Wambui, Wanjiro, Wasonga. Bachelor of Science, Information Technology. Second class honors, upper division. Chege, Gasheri, Gakuya, Gishuki, Gevenji, Kamau Ernest, Kamau Francis, Kiproti, Kipto, Maina, Mutio, Mutiso, Mutua, Mutune. Second class honors, law division. Chelangat, Cheruyot, Gakinko, Gedega, Kiama, Kibet, Kirui, Kosgei, Maingi, Mutua, Mwaura, Dereba, Jiraini, Nyumba, Oyugi, Raro, Sigei, Vundi, Wairimu, Wambua, Wanjiku, Yego, Pass, Kenya. Bachelor of Science, Information Science, Publishing and Media. Second class honors, Upper Division, Nyamgero. Second class honors, Lower Division, Kimani, Munyiva. Records and Archives Management. First class honors, Ochanda, Duton, Bishanam. Second class honors, Upper Division, Adisa, Chacha, Kaidi, Kamau, Kiyoko, Kiprotich, Mulwa, Ngugi, Shigogu. Graduates, please remain standing until the confirmation of degrees. Madam Chancellor, I have the honor to present the following 212 graduates who during the 2022-2023 academic year satisfied the School Board of Examiners and the Senate for the confirmation of respective bachelor's degrees in the School of Education. Bachelor of Education Science, Biology and Agriculture. Second class honors upper division. Kahai Machani Wainaina, Biology and Chemistry. Second class honors upper division. Adiambo, Atemba, Bakari, Disare, Jerotich, Kimeto, Kinyoni, Maina, Mainda, Mugushia, Mwangi. Second class honors lower division. Chemutai, Maina, Muimi, Nduiga, Chemistry and Physics. Second class honors upper division. Chaka, Kipiegon, Momani, Muturi, Ngai, Njoki, Odinga. Lower division. Jemutai, Kipngeno, Kipiegon, Marondo, Muzuri, Mutuku, Muita, To, Wambua. Mathematics and Agriculture. Second class honors lower division. Gisemba. Mathematics and Biology. Second class honors lower division. Kinywa, Mutembei, Mwanza. Mathematics and Chemistry. First class honors. Chebet Gertrude. Lekachuma Collins Papai. Second class honors upper division. Chai Chelangat Chepkemoi Gatweri Jumale Kairivia Kavindu Kendi Kinyanju Maxwell Mweni Mutali Muthemba Muthini Mwangangi Mwanzia Namusole Oduol Ouma Sichangi Wanjiko. Second class honors lower division. Biret Chebet Chepkoet Chepkori Gichira, Gishuki, Gitonga, Cairo, Kendi, Kibandi, Kinyili, Maitevia, Mboya, Mutie, Nyakundi, Oscar, Wanjiko. Pass. Kipto, Onje. Mathematics and Physics. Second class honors upper division. Aidan, Chepkirui, Cherono, Givinji, 
Mizamo, Mutulu, Nanga, Ngula, Njogu, Ndeki, Waidaka. Second class honors, lower division. Chepkech, Chepnetich, Kamau, Kibet, Kipnetich, Mungambi, Murithi, Murioki, Mutembei, Jerry, Odiambo, Otieno, Rotich. Pass. Magorwe Mukaria, Bachelor of Education Arts, Business Studies and Geography, Second Class Honors Upper Division, Juma, Mbeta, Munga, Mutisia, Udiambo, Kazungu, Gamba, Uruko, English and Literature, First Class Honors, Gatori Clara, Moi Harriet Nyawera, Second Class Honors Upper Division, Arama, Chetkirui, Cherono, Kamati, Kazure, Kadurima, Kaunda, Kavaywa, Kimadi, Kinywa, Mawea, Muinde, Murkomen, Onyango, Warui. Second class honors lower division. Bet, Bet, Koech, Ntabo, Obadia. Geography and Computer Studies. Second class honors lower division. Jeb Koech, Mbindio. Geography and Mathematics. Second class honors upper division. Atieno, Chemutai, Jeb Kosgei, Lokir. Lower division. Jepkoech, Juma, Nyeno, Nyakambi, Nyakundi, Ogero, Onyango, Wangari. History and Business Studies. Second Class Honors, Upper Division. Jepkemoi, Esho, Kiguru, Muti, Ogweno, Osiemo, Wanyonyi. Lower Division. Murege. History and Siari. First Class Honors. Kirimi, Glory, Kendi. Wamutira, Phoebe, Muthoni. Zimangi, Linat. Second Class Honors, Upper Division. Ambale, Chokemoi, Gitonga, Mutinda, Muta. Mathematics and Business Studies, First Class Honors, Muridi, Nancy, Wanjiko. Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Chepto, Cherotich, Gazundia, Jepkosgei, Karue, Kilonzo, Kimandi, Kipto, Ngeno, Njuguna, Odiambo, Ogola, Osodo. Lower Division, Chepnetich, Cherono, Gatiu, Jomutai, Chepnetich, Kabue, Karanja, Kipkoech, Kiplangat, Kipngeno, Kiprono, Konzolo, Leikampa, Martin, Mushemi, Munguti, Mude, Mwende, Mongeli, Nanga, Njeru, Nyakundi, Okonya, Oscar, Poyo, Wagako. Mathematics and Computer Studies. Second Class Honors Upper Division. Kageni, Koech, Mauru. Second Class Honors Lower Division. Kiplangat, Shisia. Graduates. Please remain standing until the conferment of degrees. Madam Chancellor, sir, Madam Chancellor, I have the honor to present the following 119 graduates who during the 2022-2023 academic year satisfied the school board of education and the senate for the conferment of respective bachelor's degrees in the school of engineering and architecture bachelor of technology in civil engineering first class honors karia enok rochua kevin akeno maina nancy kabura second class honors upper division atieno ayata chacha kishobi kipro kipro teach Piago, Kobia, Maina, Mlambo, Mulinge, Mutiga, Mwangi, Geshe, Ngila, Joki, Nyamoko, Omondi, Odieki, Oyo, Rotich, Second Class Honors Lower Division, Chome, Kamau, Karanja, Kibet, Kipgetich, Kipsan, Kiremi, Mushiri, Mohoha, Mukeli, Nyamu, Nyangena, Ochada, Omondi Anyang, Omondi Steven, Tanui, Pass, Irene, Odiwo. Bachelor of Technology in Electrical and Electronic Engineering, Second Class Honors Upper Division, Cherome, Badiru, Gitahi, Kagunda, Kingeno, Makori, Bune, Mulinge, Muremi, Mudoka, Muturi, Mwangi, Ochien, Othiambo, Owa, Simiti, Wakonyo. Second class honors, lower division. Achola, Ahmed, Chege, 
Cheruyot, Cheruyot Java, Kamale, Kivuva, Tibet, Kori, Kurgat, Kwe, Maina, Mukona, Munga, Muse, Mutiani, Mwangi Brian, Mwangi Moses, Nyeno, Nick, Yakundi, Ochien, Odiambo, Ogembo, Orumela, Omondi, Thuo, Vikiru, Wajoi, Pass, Wambua. Bachelor of Technology in Mechanical Engineer, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Kinywa, Muli, Mundia, Owino, Uhuru, Waitito, Wekesa. Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Gishimu, Gishoki, Kaboto, Kihara, Maina, Madenge, Bogwa, Nidamo, Murioki, Musembi, Mwapi, Mwikia, Jaria, Jonjo, Joroge, Nyakwama, Nikuli, Oduo, Oguna, Owino, Fiji, Tirai, Waule. Graduates, please remain standing until your confinement of degree. Madam Chancellor, I have the honor to present the following 87 graduates who during the 2022-2023 academic year satisfying the school board of examiners and the senate for the confirmation of respective bachelor's degrees in the school of health sciences. Bachelor of Science in Public Health, first class honors. Mohamed Ngeti. Second class honors, upper division. Chep Korir, Gondana, Kimtai, Kipkurui, Kidusi, Lokusi, Podria, Mukwana, Grango, Kirote, Nkoyo, Oduor, Wahome, Wako. Second class honors, lower division. Bonuke, Loto, Musomba, Mutindwa, Rob, Sang. Bachelor of Science in Health Records and Information Management, First Class Honors, Omondi V. Achieng, Tanui Sharon Chemtai, Tonui Masi Chepkoech, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Maxwell. Budhi, Monari, Mutai, Mwansia, Onyango, Tondokuyang, Yusuf. Second class honors, lower division. Kimorong, Benge, Mbuvi, Musioka, Ngui, Odhiambu, Omito, Otieno, Rotich, Tungwan. Bachelor of Science in Clinical Medicine and Community Health. Bayenia, Charo, Chebet, Chege, Chesang, Gadigia, Gewana, Hassan, Hussein, Kihima, Kipkosge, Kirema, Kirinya, Kivinji, Korir, Tum, Limumba, Maiko, Maina, Babu, Muridi, Mudinja, Muduro, Mutuma, Mwangi, Njagi, Joroge, Juguna, Nyanchama, Sioka, Oguta, Oluoch, Omolo, Onyancha, Onyango, Osman, Rugia, Waidanji. Now I request uh, Dr. Patrick Kubai to come over and lead the graduates in clinical medicine to swear the Hippocratic oath for the practice of clinical medicine. I kindly request the graduates of BSc Clinical Medicine and Community Health to raise their hands and repeat after me. Hi. Hi. Solemnly pledge 
In the presence of Almighty God. In the presence of Almighty God. My lecturers. My lecturers. My family. My family. Peers. Peers. All those gathered here. All those gathered here. To consecrate my life to the service of humanity. To consecrate my life to the service of humanity. I shall practice my profession. I shall practice my profession with conscience. Dignity, Dignity. The, health of my patient the health of my patient shall be my first consideration. Shall be my first consideration. I shall be ethical. I shall be ethical. And nothing but ethical. And nothing but ethical. I shall respect the secrets that have been confided in me. I shall respect the secrets that have been confided in me. And shall not make it private or public gossip. And shall not make it private or public gossip. <laughs> I shall maintain by all means in power of the honor. I shall maintain by all means in power of the honor. The noble tra traditions of my profession. The noble traditions of my profession. My colleagues shall be my brothers. My colleagues shall be my brothers. I shall seek to establish mutual and respective relations. I shall seek to establish mutual and respective relations. I shall maintain the utmost respect to human life. I shall maintain the utmost respect to human life. And I shall maintain the highest standards of my professional conduct. And you shall maintain the highest standards of professional conduct. So help me God. So help me God. Jawi! <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Medical Laboratory Sciences. Gatumwa, Kitonga, Ikiao, Karia, Kirimania, Kidenji, Riongo. Again, I request uh, Mr. Patrick Mudharia to come and lead the graduates in swearing the oath of practice for the, the BSc Medical Laboratory graduates. Please uh, lift your right hand. Repeat after me. As a medical laboratory profession, as a medical laboratory profession, I solemnly pledge that I solemnly pledge that I shall accept the responsibilities. I shall accept the responsibilities inherent to being a laboratory professional. Inherent to being a laboratory professional, I shall uphold the rule of law. I shall uphold the rule of law. As prescribed by the Constitution of Kenya, as prescribed by the Constitution of Kenya, I shall work in the spirit of fairness. I shall work in the spirit of fairness to the community, to the community, and members of the profession, and members of the profession. I shall practice in a manner that I shall practice in a manner that merits full confidence and trust. Merits full confidence and trust. I shall treat any information I acquire. I shall treat any information I acquire as strictly confidential. As strictly confidential. To these principles. To these principles. I hereby subscribe and pledge. I hereby subscribe and pledge to conduct myself at all times. Conduct myself at all times in a manner befitting the dignity of the profession. In a manner befitting the dignity of the profession. I make these promises solemnly. I make these promises solemnly and upon my honor. And and upon upon my honor. honor. So help me God. So, so help, help me God. God. Graduates remain standing until the degrees are confirmed. Madam Chancellor, I have the honor to present the following 41 graduates who during the 2022-2023 academic year satisfied the school board of examiners and the Senate for the confirmation of respective bachelor's degrees in the School of Nursing. Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Akini, Amawa, Bet, Biwot, Chepnetich, Chumba, Njuma, Kagendo, Kamau, Kima, uh, Kibol, Kipnetich, 
Isiri, Lelan, Makori, Manoti, Mboya, Mbulunga, Miruka, Mungale, Muridi, Njeri, Ndenya, Obara, Obiero, Ocheng, Ondwar, Onyango, Simio. For these graduates uh, from Bachelor of Science in Nursing, I will administer the nursing profession, hold of practice. Kindly raise your right hand and repeat after me. Hi. Hi. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. Before the Almighty God. Before the Almighty God. And in the presence of this assembly. And in the presence of this assembly. To observe the nurses' code of ethics and conduct. To observe the nurses' code of ethics and conduct. I shall faithfully practice my profession. I shall faithfully practice my profession in accordance with the laid down laws and regulations. In accordance with the laid down laws and regulations. As provided for in the Nurses Act of 2011. As provided for in the Nurses Act of 2011. Of the laws of Kenya. Of the laws of Kenya. I shall abstain from whatever is deleterious. I shall abstain from whatever is deleterious. And mischievous. And mischievous. And shall not take. And shall not take. Or knowingly administer any harmful drug. Or knowingly administer any harmful drug. I shall do all in my power. I shall do all in my power. To maintain and elevate the standards of my profession. To maintain and elevate the standards of my profession. I shall hold in confidence. I shall hold in confidence. All personal matters committed to me. All personal matters committed to me. And all family affairs coming to my knowledge. And all family affairs coming to my knowledge. In the practice or my calling. In the practice or my calling. I shall endeavor. I shall endeavor. To work in collaboration with other team members. To work in collaboration with other team members. members in the provision of health care. In the provision of health care. And devote myself. And devote myself. To the welfare of those committed to my care. To the welfare of those committed to my care. So help me God. So help me God. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Health Systems Management, first class owners, Chep Kemoi Brenda, Chep Ngetich Vicky, Molinge Mary Kadina. Second class owners, Upper Division, Mweni, Mumbe, Murevi, Motiso, Mwanzi, Njugona, Duita. Second class owners, Lower Division, Kamuta, Murefu. Graduates, please remain standing until the confirmation of the peace. Madam Chancellor, I have the honor to present the following 196 graduates who during the 2022-2023 academic year satisfied school board of examiners and the Senate for the confirmation of respective bachelor's degrees in the School of Pure and Applied Sciences. Bachelor of Science in Actuarial Science. Second class honors, upper division. Aja, Yidin Martin, Yidin Samu, Ikehe, Kamau, Kaunge, Gilonzo, Moni, Mungadia, Murioki, Mzani, Mjale, Nyeleno, Joroge, Wafula, Waidaka, Wangechi, Wawero Cynthia, Wawero Sophia. Second class honors, lower division. Abonyo, Akini, Balama, Chemgeno, Kadoni, Yesimba, Yedoi, Karioki, Kadambi, Kaunda, Kediwa, Kilonzi, Kimeto, Kimtai, Kimgetij, Kitiabi, Kiuna, Murebi, Motuku, Mwalim, Mwange, Mongela, Gusie, Jenga, Jeru, Nyabuto, Oviri, Ocheng Lennox, Ocheng Sylvia, Okelo, Otieno, Ouma, Duku, Tuwei, Wambua, Pass, Uchenya, Mwasimba, Otieno, Rotich. Battle of Science in Statistics. Second class honors of division. Atieno, Busuru, Chebet, Cheyech, Chula, Kibet, Kimani, Kemon, Kiplagat. Kiprono, 
Kitio, Banga, Mochengo, Mutambu, Mutuko, Odiambo. Second class honors, lower division. Abuga, Atanga, B, Bonsire, Ebalo, Isaboke, Jamtai, Kagweria, Kamande, Kemboi, Ketel, Kitu, Kitengia, Maina Grace, Maina Robert, Maige, Masila, Mochomba, Moema, Mugo, Muinde, Munga, Muriung, Mwangi Mark, Mwangi Po, Maniki, Mwinga, Naserian, Nasimil, Jenga, Joki, Nyanga, Nyokadi, Ochen, Ongutu, Omogo, Omond, Onyango, Tindi, Weswa, Pats, Maina, Mwaniki, Mwaura, Jage, Jue, Nyamai, Nyangena, Ocharo, Dara. Bachelor of Science, Mathematics and Computer Science. First class honors. Kiplimo Victor. Maina Mikal Moreni. Second class honors, Upper Division. Koet, Piegon, Maigi, Madenge, Nisati, Mokaya, Mwangi, Ndungu, Ogot, Okongo, Waita, Wanjiku. Second class honors, Iluan Division. Achieng, Birudu, Chiuri, Yote, Isiora, Jekosigei, Kaboi, Kago, Karioki, Keboi, Kimari, Kipchirichi, Kitu, Chalo, Macharia, Mayugu, Boru, Mokaya, Mwangi, Dungu, Nanga, Joki, Juguna Leni, Juguna Mori, Odiambo, Opio, Otien, San, Tanui, Wanja, Wanjiko, Pass. Akuma, Ichui, Maina, Mulwa, Wataki. Bachelor of Science, Biochemistry, Second Class Honors, Upper Division. Tesan, Kamula, Kimonge, Mukanjili, Mwel, Shicheti, Wandera, Wangoi. Second Class Honors, Lower Division. Chebet, Kiptumba, Wangai. Bachelor of Science, Chemistry. Second class honors, upper division. Chemkemoi, Mutua, Togon. Second class honors, lower division. Chelanga, Kinoti, Keti, Kirui, Nyakamba, Yego. Bachelor of Science, Physics. Second class honors, upper division. Morara, Wajiro. Second class honors, lower division. Piplagat, Graduates. Please remain studying and your confirmation of degrees. I admit the persons named to the respective bachelor's degrees for which they have been educated, trained, examined, and qualified. And by my authority, and that of the entire university give power to read and do all that appertains to these degrees. Agriculture and Food Science, the Dean School of Business and Economics, 
the Dean School of Computing and Informatics, the Dean School of Engineering and Architecture, to present the graduates for the award of respective diplomas of Mary University of Science and Technology. Madam Chancellor, I have the honor to present the following 96 graduates who during the 2022-2023 academic year satisfied the school board of examiners and the senate for the award of respective diplomas in the school of agriculture and food science. Diploma in agriculture, distinction, Gaki Pauline, Modoi Geldin Kawera, credit, Ali Abdi, Ali Hussein, Albale, Asha, Aswani, Bonaya, Busienei, Cheptu, Cheruyot, Ebei, Epeonon, Gaishogi, Gadu, Guyo, Ibrahim, Idali, Karioki, Kadure, Kenei, Kibet, Kearika, Kilonzo, Kimandi, Kemadi, Kemutai, Kenoti, Kenovia, Kenya Jacqueline, Kenya Rolin, Kyogora, Kyoko, Kiptumba, Kipkoech, Kipkrui, Kirenya, Kivinji, Komen, Langat, Metetek, Mireti, Mohammed, Muinde, Mumo, Moreidi, Murifi, Musila, Mutiso, Motua Gladys, Motua John, Motweri, Mwaneki, Mwadi, Mwende, Mwiregi, Mweti, Naitore, Ndola, Ndomo, Ngadi, Njero, Nur, Ndega, Nyaga, Nzomo, Obai, Omari, Palkepo, Kiach, Riongo, Duranera, Wambua, Wangai, Wanjera, Wapicho, Pass, <coughs> Albishal, Basan, Bundi, Kadambi, Kyabye, Kenya, Kirema, Munguti, Monoru, Moreidi Gelenji, Moreidi Wamoi, Morongi, Ntiale, Nyachoti, Diploma in Food Science and Technology, Distinction, Cherono Getrut, Credit, Moreidi, Mweregi, Njero, Jogona, Nkirote. Graduates, please remain standing until the award of diplomas. <laughs> Madam Chancellor, I have honor to present the following 25 graduates during 2025-2023 academic year, that is the School Board of Examiners and Senate for the Award of Prospective Diplomas, the School of Business and Economics. Diploma in Procurement and Supply Chain Management, Distinction, Abare Wario Zainab, Okola Onyango Maiko, Credit, Kirimi Tuna Wako, Pass, Mungadia. Diploma in Business Administration, Distinction. Biramu Dug Bufu. Kimadi Wendi. Mbuiria Kinywa Eliud. Credit. Barwako, Kanyinilu, Kaume, Kiao, Kimadi, Mwande, Mungania. Muriongi, Muduri, Mutoku, Mutwiri, Mkadi. Irangu, Nyambura, Riktauru, Pass, Tatacha. Gradon, please remain standing until the award of diplomas. Madam Chancellor, I have the honor to present the following 17 graduates during the 2022-2023 academic year 
subscribed the School Board of Examiners and the Senate for the award of respected diploma in the School of Computing and Informatics. Diploma in Information Technology. Distinction. Kelvin Mwiti Mwaria. Mwakiria Dickens Mwiti. Credits. Gaki, Kawira, Kimadi, Kipsan, Kubai, Monywa, Mureidi Kirote, Mureidi Kelvin, Muriunki, Mwangera, Nathan, Nyaga, Pass, Adam, Kanan, Mwendo. Graduates, please remain standing until the award of diplomas. Madam Chancellor, I have the honor to present the following one graduate who during the 2022-2023 academic year satisfied the School Board of Examiners and the Senate for the award of respective diplomas in the School of Engineering and Architecture. Diploma in Electrical Engineering, PASS, by a graduate who is remain standing until the award of diplomas. <laughs> Acting on the powers conferred by Universities Act and number 42 of 2012, section 38, subsection 3A, and the Mary University of Science and Technology certified. Having satisfied the school, board of examiners, and senate in all the subjects for which you are enrolled, trained, and examined, it gives me great pressure to award you the respective diplomas and by my authority and that of the entire university give power to read and to do all that appertains to these diplomas. Madam Chancellor, I call upon Director Tivet to present the graduates for award of respective Tibet diplomas. Mm. Madam Chancellor, I have the honor to present the following 79 graduates who were examined and certified for the award of diplomas during the 2022-2023 academic year in the Directorate of Technical, Vocational, Education and Training. Diploma in Agricultural Extension, Adisa, Felix, Kimeli, Kuma Karin, Kuma Tony, Lemotou, Maida, Maritim, Modi. Motesia, Mwangi, Patane, Sagero, Diploma in Horticultural Production, Kelvin, Lerko, Gwale, Joki, Diploma in Angri Angripreneurship, Akinyi, Bichero, Irongo, Kipro, Mueni, Ouma, Diploma in Business Management, Gaichugi, Kawera, Kenoti, Kirema, Maina, Bogwa, Musili, Mutweri, Moadime, Otieno, Wachama. Diploma in Human Resource Management, Arufin, Ayuak, Gacheri, Yesonga, Kamau, Kinja, Kongu, Masila, Mutua, Mwaura, Derito, Nekesa, Ngala, Onyango. Diploma in Construction Management, Kasioki, Murioki, Dongo, Stevin. Diploma in Marketing, Mongeli. Diploma in Project Management, Gekandi, Mikoa, Maura Glenn, Maura John, Nganga, Nyanchera, Yasmin. Diploma in Supply Chain Management, Amagove, Jepkeboy, Joseph, Kikungu, Biti, Mbone, Murevi, Mutua, Muinde, Otunga, Simiu. Diploma in Information Communication Technolo Technician, Kawera Dungu. Diploma in Electrical Engineering, 
Morevi Wanyama Diploma in Automotive Engineering Ngana Diploma in Mechatronic Engineering Fendelix Graduates please remain standing until they are one of CBET diplomas Acting on the powers conferred by the Universities Act number 42 of 2012, section 38, subsection 3A, the Mary University of Science and Technology Statute 5, and in accordance with Tibet Act 29 of 2013, I award you the diploma for which you have been examined and certified accordingly. Madam Chancellor, I call upon the Dean School of Agriculture and Food Science, the Dean School of Business and Economics, the Dean School of Computing and Informatics, and the Dean School of Engineering and Architecture to present the graduates for the award of respective certificates of the University, Mary University of Science and Technology. Madam Chancellor, I have the honor to present the following 34 graduates who during the 2022-2023 academic year satisfied the school board of examiners and the Senate for the award of respective certificates in the School of Agriculture and Food Science. Certificate in Agriculture, Distinction, Gilo Galgalo Rukia, Motegi Mudoni Sharon, Moteni Nzini Lena, Credit, Bundi, Diba, Ismail, Kaloki, Kanchoru, Karemi, Kadambi, Kemadi Duncan, Kemadi Morania, Kerema, Kerenya, Kereni, Maina, Moredi, Motedia, Mwendwa, Ntavadia, Nyaga, Pass, Adi, Kaaria, Kaimeni, Kenywa, Learamo, Nur, Vivu, Certificate in Animal Health and Production, Hassan, Kimadi, Kirwa, Nyetich, Njero, Wambua. I now invite the, gra the graduates of Animal Health and Production Certificate to take the veterinary paraprofessionals oath. oath. Please lift your right hand and repeat after me. I, being admitted as a veterinary paraprofessional, solemnly swear that I shall dedicate myself to aiding society by providing excellent care and services for animals to alleviate animal suffering and to promoting public health. I accept my obligation to practice my profession conscientiously and with sensitivity. Adhering to the profession's code of ethics and furthering my knowledge and competence through a commitment to lifelong learning. So help me God. Graduates, please remain standing until the hour of certificates. Madam Chancellor, I have honored to present the following one graduate who during 2022-2023 academic year satisfied the School Board of Examiners and the select for the award of the Prize Certificate, the School of Business and Economics. Certificate in Business Administration, pass, Barwako. Graduate, please remain standing until the award of the certificate. Madam Chancellor, I have the honor to present the following two graduates during the 2022-2023 academic year 
satisfy the school board of examiners and the senate for their award of respective certificate in the school of computing and informatics a certificate in information technology credit rudy pass ngoroi graduates please remain standing until the award of certificate Madam Chancellor, I have the honor to present the following two graduates who during the 2022-2023 academic year satisfied the School Board of Examiners and the Senate for the award of respective certificates in the School of Engineering and Architecture. Certificate in Automotive Technology, credit, Mutuma. Certificate in Building and Construction, credit, Mark. Graduates, please remain standing until the award of certificate. Acting on the powers confirmed, conferred by the Universities Act Number 42 of 2012, Section 38, Subsection 3A, and the Mary University of Science and Technology Statute 5, having satisfied the school, board of examiners, and the Senate in all subjects for which you were enrolled, trained, and examined, it gives me great pressure to award you the respective certificates and by my authority and that of the entire university, give power to read and do all that appertains to these certificates. Madam Chancellor, uh, I would like to um, the congregation to uh, identify with the uh, Hon. Joseph Mruaki Mfari, who is the chair of KFIS who arrived while we were going. He's a great friend of this university. Madam Chancellor, allow me I've also just been alerted by another great friend, the the, Hood, the MP of uh, one of the of the constituency around in Meru. Thank you very much, Dawood, for coming. Madam Chancellor, sent the graduates to their parents, their guardians, and society. Can you? Can you rise up, all of you? Face your parents, your sponsors, your guardians. And say thank you. Your supporters, your parents, and guardians. And guardians, thank you very much for and educating you. to return and collect certificates as from Monday 27th of November 2023 to 1st of December 2023. <laughs> Madam in a Universities Act number 42 of 2012, section 39, part 2, and the Science and Technology Statutes 41, section 6, and the TVET Act 29 of 2013, I declare this congregation officially dissolved. Madam Chancellor, we have come to the end of our function and we'd like to thank God for the good weather 
and also thank God for our graduates. This is an announcement that uh, lunch is served at the lunch at the cafeteria. Ushers, please guide our visitors where they're supposed to go. So I'd like her to stand for the national anthem. And please remain standing until the procession leaves the dais. Graduates, please remain standing. Do not leave before the procession has left the dais. The graduates, please don't leave before. Sorry. Thank you. 